This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. No, 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 no. Well, here's something I never thought I'd be saying. 50 Cent and Madonna have been going back and forth. They've been having a social media feud. It all started late November when Madonna posted a picture of herself wearing lingerie with her legs sticking out from under the bed. And 50 Cent commented, yo, this is the funniest. That's Madonna under the bed trying to do like a virgin at 63. She shot out if she don't get her old ass up, LMFAO. Well, Madonna did not appreciate that and responded to uh, 50. And here's what she had to say about 50. You were trying to shame me. Your apology is fake. It's bullshit and it's not valid. An apology is not valid if you don't know what you're apologizing for. What you should be apologizing for is your misogynistic, sexist, ageist behavior and remarks. You say that you're not benefiting from it. Of course you're benefiting from it. That is what social media is all about. Um, I've heard of you, and I hope that one day you wake up and see a different point of view. She posted and captioned that delayed clapback for 50 Cent and his fake apology. I've been busy, better late than never, had some things I needed to say. Well, 50 Cent uh, since then posted his response to her comments and he said the purge begins now hey is there an age limit for this kind of ish man i'm asking for (laughs) a friend and here is 50's response this is not a test this is your emergency (laughs) broadcast system announcing so this is a message for 50 cent i want to respond to your response to my response to your post Don't know what you're apologizing for. You didn't hurt my feelings because I don't I take it personally. I could never take it personally because you're she not from an enlightened place. So he said, uh, yes, that's him commenting as he listens to her video saying she did take it personally. Then he got mad at Bow Wow because he saw that he liked Madonna's clapback and he posted that and he said, I see Bow Wow mad. I told everybody he took that money home from that strip club, SMH. Fool, that money was for the dancers. <laughs> I know 50 be playing, though, right? You know he be joking. Yeah. I don't even uh, know he has time to even do that with all these shows. He but got yes. time. I mean, right, I mean, listen, 50, 50, 50 do be joking, but, I mean, Madonna not wrong either, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it hurts your feelings, too, when it goes on social media and then everybody's saying things and making jokes. We know how that can but be. But everybody was making uh, jokes, now, wasn't it? Just wasn't 50? I think it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the picture, yeah, a lot but of it's people 50. had things to say about it. Yeah, but everybody else is just a bunch of nameless, you know, faces, people that she doesn't know. That's Curtis, 50 Cent Jackson. Drop on the clues, Bonds for 50 Cent. It hits different when he does it. When it's a, with millions of followers. <laughs> All right, Megan Thee Stallion got the Texas Hero Award, and she also graduated from college from Texas Southern University on Saturday. Meg the Graduate, congratulations to Meg Thee Stallion. That's a huge deal. And here she is 100%. speaking on that honor. Long before I became Megan Thee Stallion, I, was, I am Megan P, um, a Houston girl who dreamed of putting on for a city and having a huge voice in the music industry and just using my platform to give back to those in need in my community. I do appreciate the recognition and the accolades, but I definitely take much greater pride in knowing that I use my voice and my resources to put smiles on people's faces and make a meaningful difference in Houston. Yeah, I respect the focus of her, you know, getting a degree because with all that money she getting, you know, all the fame that she got, she could have easily put put school to the side, but to stay focused and still get her degree, dropping the clues bombs for making the stallion. Absolutely. Yes, very inspiring for people out there. And Stevie J was kicked off of his flight on Delta before he even had a chance to take off. It looks like cops were there to greet him. And they said apparently he was, uh, I believe he was with his son. And they said they had uh, purchased an alcoholic beverage in the terminal while waiting to go on board and tried to carry it on past the gate. They told him they couldn't do that. And he did it anyway. And once he was on the plane, they said he threw it away. But the damage was done. The Delta team insisted that they exit for disobeying the orders. And I saw Julia Beverly is the one that posted that. And so there's video of them deplaning, and you can hear them trying to explain uh, that there was no longer an issue. They were asking why they were being taken off the plane. But uh, Stevie J told TMZ the reason he and his son were removed is due to part the fact they didn't follow the instructions on the drop of a dime. And he thinks that everything got blown out of proportion. 
Well, what's the problem with bringing a drink on the plane, especially if they already serve drinks on the plane? And it's something I bought in the airport. So if you already pass the security and, you know, yeah, you're at your gate and there's a little bar either. right there, what's the problem? Yeah, it's in a plastic cup or uh, uh, one of those containers. You walk right on. It's not like he had the bottle and he drinking it to the head. He probably, you know, walking with a cup in his hand. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't see a problem. With yeah, it, I didn't know that was a thing. That's the first, That was the first I ever heard of something like that. Yeah, I did not know you couldn't do that. So, but if, but I do know that they can do whatever they want. So if they tell you to do something and you don't follow instructions, they can for any reason be like, get off. And then you have to deal with it later. So. And not for nothing. I feel like we've done that before. Yeah. I feel like Ye and I have been at a bar at a, a airport and we walked on a plane with a cup. I, I feel like we did that before. I'm pretty sure we have. You could put it in a coffee cup too. So yeah. it looks like you're drinking coffee. I didn't know you couldn't do that. But yeah. I don't know if the you know people can say anything right now during COVID. But that is your uh, rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. All right. Now we got front page news next. What are we talking about? Yes. And, uh, you know, I hate to have to do any type of, of bad news on a Monday. But we are going to talk about a, um, you know what, let's do something fun. Let's talk about these UFO sightings instead first. All There's right. We'll get into that next. UFOs that have been spotted. All right. We'll do it next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.